Hello students my name is Alok Simwal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about instrumentation and advantages of HPLC So first of all detectors used in HPLC HPLC detectors are used in the detection of the solute present in the eluent coming from the HPLC column There is no universal detector that can monitor all compounds and that's why many detectors are used for HPLC analysis few of them are uv visible and pda detectors refractive index detector evaporative light scattering detector multi angle light scattering detector mass spectrometer conductivity detector fluorescence detector chemiluminescence detector optical rotation detector and electrochemical detector now in this lecture i will discuss uv visible and pda detector refractive index detector and mass spectrometer detector first is ultraviolet visible and pda detector The most common type of detectors used in HPLC analysis are ultraviolet visible detectors. Nowadays, ultraviolet visible detectors are combined with photodiode array detector which is PDA detector. In combination, they provide good sensitivity for light absorbing compounds at picogram level. these detectors are easy to operate and provides good stability the most common detection method include ultraviolet absorption method during the analysis sample goes through a transparent flow cell when ultraviolet or visible light is irradiated on the flow cell sample absorbs a specific portion of ultraviolet or visible light thus the intensity of ultraviolet or visible light observed for the mobile phase without sample and the eluent containing sample will differ by measuring this difference the amount of sample can be determined since the ultraviolet absorbance detection methods include detection of wavelength it is important to choose an appropriate wavelength based on the type of analyte A standard UV detector allows user to choose wavelength between 180 to 380 nanometer. A visible detector uses longer wavelength around 400 to 700 nanometer. And then there are detectors which provide a wider wavelength region called UV visible detectors. UV visible detectors are made by combining the range of ultraviolet and visible. They provide the convenience of detection in between 180 to 700 nanometer. PDA detectors detects an entire spectrum simultaneously. UV and visible detectors visualize the obtained result in two dimensions light intensity and time but PDA adds the third dimension wavelength so in case of ultraviolet visible and PDA detectors it is convenient to determine the most suitable wavelength without repeating analysis Next detector is refractive index detector. Refractive index detector measures changes in reflex index. Specification of this type of detector contains a glass cell which is divided into two chambers or cells. The effluent flowing from the liquid chromatographic column flow through the sample cell. while other cell called reference cell 
Reference cell is filled with only mobile phase. When the effluent going through the sample cell does not contain any analyte, the solvent inside both cells are the same. And in this situation, when a beam is irradiated on the cells, the observed beam will be straight. As you can see in this picture, this beam is straight. However, in a case, the effluent contains any analyte, the incident beam bends due to the reflex index difference between the two solvents. By measuring this change, the presence of components can be observed. Refractive index detectors have lower sensitivity compared to UV detector and that's the main reason why refractive index detectors are not commonly used. Third detection method include coupling of HPLC system to a mass spectrometer. This is where it gets really clever. When the detector is showing a peak, some of what is passing through the detector at that time can be diverted to a mass spectrometer. There, it will give a fragmentation pattern which can be compared against a computer database of known patterns. That means that the identity of a huge range of compounds can be found without having to know their retention times. In mass spectrometer, the analytes are detected based on their molecular weight. The obtained information is especially useful for compound structure identification. Next important part of the HPLC system is degasser unit. The element used for liquid chromatographic analysis may contain gases such as oxygen that are not visible to our eyes. When gas is present in the element, this is detected as noise and causes an unstable baseline. Degasser uses a special polymer membrane tubing to remove gases. The numerous very small pores on the surface of the polymer tube allow the air to go through while preventing any liquid to go through the pore. At last, advantages of high performance liquid chromatography. First is speed and efficiency. Compared to other chromatographic techniques, HPLC is extremely fast and efficient. This technique uses a high pressure pump to force a liquid solvent through a solid adsorbent material with different chemical components separating out as they move at different speeds. HPLC technique is also very accurate and versatile and extremely precise when it comes to identifying and quantifying chemical components. Following are the references of this chapter. Thank you.